successful Māori businesses come from small rural communities. Using them as a template, we can step out, stand proud and tell our whānau, hey kazi, hey auntie, hey uncle, this is really exciting. If you've got an idea, let's work together and turn your dreams into a reality. Our grassroots businesses have far more chance of success if we work together and share our skills and resources. <laughs> Bay Inn, also known as Tolaga Bay Innovation. Tolaga Bay Innovation started through mentoring small startup businesses. At the beginning of the year we had the pop-up business school and after that the Tolaga Bay Innovation put forward a plan for those developing business. 97.6% of businesses are small to medium enterprises. They all started with a good idea and they all started with a concept or a dream and they became reality. And everybody should have the opportunity to do that. We have a new whakatauki here for Tolaga Bay Innovation, which is growing grassroots businesses together. Since the beginning of the year, that's pretty much what we've been doing. Our app is called Rescue Paws, and um, we um, entered the Global Tech Innovation Competition. Our problem is solving animal cruelty, stopping it globally. Well, you can either adopt a furry friend or report a distressed animal or um, donate to like SPCAs and stuff that like we'll have contact to. As a normal inn, there was no way we'd, we would be able to restore it or let it survive. So we got together as a collective and thought, well, what can we do? It's like, well, the mothership can be used for other beneficial things for our community. It's got so much character, just walking in the doors and just the feel of the place. There's definitely a, a really vintage cultural feel to this inn. It's far bigger than just a pub, it's actually the proper heart of a community. You know, a turning point where a community says, right, we've actually, we want to change, we want, we want something different. Well today, we're very lucky enough to have some officials from Ministry of Social Development, Amanda Nichols. Also, along with her, is Minister Willie Jackson, which is really exciting for us, because it's so great that we actually have high-profile leaders actually visiting and speaking with us on the ground. How outstanding and um, how remarkable to have MP and Minister Willie Jackson here back home to excite us about what's in store for our businesses goes to show that there are people out there listening and that there are people out there really interested in what Tolaga Bay is up to. We are part of the Tolaga Bay Innovation. Now what is that? That is fundamentally nurturing grassroots businesses together. That is what we've created in our lovely historical inn. We believe that our community development can come from the ground up. We have our own skill sets. We are hunters, fishermen, artists, singers, dancers. Oh, that's what I'm good at. I've <laughs> been around it all my life. My parents and my grandparents, kawa kawa was quite common in their diet. When I started making it, it, it took about maybe 10 weeks to get it right. And I thought that was hard, but that was easy compared to running a business. Aho, kua to CEO of Kawa Ora. Kawa Ora is organic based native farms. Our main product at this moment in time in the product we've been developing is Kawa Kawa. We sell it in the form of a stick and in the form of a cream. No reda, aha kohe puto, tēnā I'm 100% sure, or oh, 110% sure that it will be a success. The old flea markets we've gone to, all the feedback we've had, it has been... I haven't had a bad one yet. Some people have a lot of talent and they don't realise it's a talent. They just think, oh, that's something I can do, but they don't realise it's actually something that's very valuable to the world. Any idea can make it 
if you just have the will to step out of that comfort zone. Our hope here is that we can carry that message out, not only in Uawa, but all along the coast and nationwide, to say, hey, here we are. We're here to help create employment and to bring back that positive energy that rural communities deserve. Sometimes communities just need a bit of a hand. And so listening to all your portal today, everyone, uh, um, I find it, found it quite inspirational. Everything that I hear today, all about uh, um, supporting yourselves, supporting your whānau, using your skills, you're using your skills, your culture, your language, your history, your background uh, to set yourselves up, but not just yourselves up, your kids up and your mukupunas up. But congratulations, congratulations. You're living in Porata Bay, it's an awesome place to live. It's an awesome community at all levels. It's got an amazing heart and I saw that the first time I came here. I thought, you know, if this is going to work, it's going to work anywhere, it's going to work here. And I've seen, since I've been coming here, the confidence in the Tolika Bay people grow. This is the beginning of the journey, it's really special. And I congratulate each and every one of you because I know it's hard, it's been hard. And it's not going to get any easier because business is hard, but it's so important. We're all in it together, but all work very hard to make it successful and I'm not so Congratulations. Live off the land, it's quite simple to live off the land in Tawaga Bay, only because um, the resources that, you know, like the ocean is just out there, it's easy to catch fish, it's easy to catch crayfish. fantastic presentation from the locals. Uh, you can see the uh, great work that Lily's doing in terms of setting up a, a type of hub almost in terms of supporting the locals with their aspirations, with their dreams in terms of creating their own des uh, destiny and uh, setting up their own businesses and people seem determined in terms of wanting to do something different, something new, something for themselves and something for their whānau and communities. We see it as a way of just improving economic development. We have to grow our own livelihoods at home. It will help our community and our people.